Theater, and you're going to use your imagination in Reader's Theater. <coughs> the audience is going to be sitting down and watching, and we need it so quiet because this is their first performance live. Some of their voices might not be as loud as they wanted them to be. So be especially quiet, and um, characters are going to be using their loudest voices. Use your imagination, boys and girls. We have the countryside way over here with rolling hills and, and little houses. We have over on this side some grand mansions in the city with streets that are paved. Over here there's dirt roads, but then this is the city. So, let's have narrator take your spot. City mouse, take your spot. City Mouse, City Mouse, um, Country Mouse, take your spot. Okay. And there, um, Reader's Theater today is City Mouse, Country Mouse, and Aesop Fable. The characters are City Mouse, Country Mouse, our narrator, and a special guest. Once upon a time, a city mouse went to visit his cousin in the country. I am so happy to see you, cousin. Once you both did not have fun food, but he was happy to share what he had. I have prepared my best food. We, we, will, we will eat dried beans, peas, and crusts of bread. How can you stay such a food all the time? Is still I suppose in the country you don't know any better. The city mouse invited his cousin, the country mouse, to his house for dinner. Why don't you come to my house in the city for dinner? When you have taken the delicious thing I eat, you will never want to leave. I would love to come to the house for dinner. At last they came to the home of the city mouse. It was very late at night. The city mouse led the country mouse right into a grand dining room. The leftovers of a fine feast were still on the table. Here I tell you right there, I will bring you some new food. That sounds nice. I am a little tired. Country mouse thought to himself, This is so good, I would like to stay forever. Suddenly, they saw a large creature dash into the room. Oh! Oh, oh no, no! It's a cat! Both of my strength are their lives. <coughs> the country mouse decided to go right back to his own home that very night. The moral of this story is love good is fine food if you can't enjoy it. Final performance? Take a bow. Give them another round.